Chilies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another the cost of video where I'm just kind of going over the cost of different animals. Today we are focusing on the leopard gecko. A lot of you guys seem to really enjoy these videos and I really enjoy making them because this isn't something that I ever think about. And other than just the that was a lot of money thought that I have when I buy things for an animal, I never actually sit down and calculate how much these things cost. So I really enjoy making them to see what I spent on some of these animals. And like always, this isn't a definitive cost list. Cost for animals is going to depend on a lot of different things, like where you get things and when you get things. There's been multiple items during these videos that I say how much it costs, and then I go to get the link to put it in my description for you guys, and the price has already changed. So these prices are just right at this second, but just know that they could change, and the way that you set up your tank could be vastly different. These are just going to be more of simple first time setups. I'm not going into the bioactive thing. This is just a price of setting up a more basic setup for a leopard gecko. This video is sponsored by the doobiedoo.com so definitely make sure to stay until the end of this video to find out how you can save 10% off of your purchase at the doobiedoo.com. Also I wanted to say that this price does not include the price of the leopard gecko itself. Leopard geckos have a huge price range. They can go from $35 to there was a $2,000 leopard gecko that we saw at the last reptile show we went to. So just know that that price ranges greatly. And last disclaimer, the prices that I'm giving you are from places like Amazon, Petco, PetSmart, Walmart, things like that. You're going to save a lot of money if you go on places like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace and get used things. That's going to save you so much money. Okay, that's all. Let's get started. <laughs> So first things first, you will need some sort of enclosure for this little guy. This can range from price greatly depending on what we're looking at. So some people go as simple as Sterilite bins, or you could go as complex as wooden custom built vivariums. You could do whatever you want for that. Currently, I am using just normal 20 gallon long tanks with screen lids. I would like to eventually upgrade them to front opening exoterras for my two leopard geckos. But as of right now, I'm just using 20 gallon long glass tanks and they work wonderfully. So so we're going to range this price from about $15 for a Sterilite bin from Walmart to about $38 for a glass tank. Now that is getting a 20 gallon long from Petco from their dollar per gallon sale, which is going to be $20. And a lid from Petco was the cheapest that I could find at about $18. You don't need any kind of clamps or anything for that lid. For the most part, your leopard gecko isn't going to be strong enough to lift that lid and escape. My leopard gecko has never done that and she likes to get at the very tip top of her tank and she's never opened it. But if you're concerned, you can always invest in some clips too. They're super cheap at like $8. We just won't include those. So for a tank, we're looking at about $15 to $38. Next up, we need substrate for that tank. Substrate can range greatly too. And it is a widely debated topic. I personally love using tile for leopard geckos because it helps to file their nails down and it is a very good conductor of heat. It looks really nice. It's super easy to clean. So that is what I do. My female leopard gecko also has a dig area in her tank, which is completely optional. You definitely don't have to do something like that. So we're not going to do things like dig boxes or anything like that. Tile is a very widely used substrate. People will also use paper towels. People love paper towels for leopard gecko. You'll also see people using reptile carpet. My recommendation is that if you are going to use reptile carpet, please make sure that you are cleaning up after your animal as soon as they use the bathroom. Make sure that you are throwing that reptile reptile carpet in the washing machine regularly and washing it. Make sure that you're keeping it clean because it can harbor parasites. People also use loose substrates for things like bioactive setups. So you have a range here. Paper towels are going to cost you a dollar at the Dollar Tree where tile can be pretty rangy there. I always go to my local Habitat for Humanity Restore to get those tiles because I do have a tile cutter and there you're looking at about 75 cent per tile. You can also look at Home Depot and Home Depot will actually cut your tiles for you and you can oftentimes find tile that may be broken or may not be the best and they'll sell that for super super cheap like less than a dollar each. For three large tiles for that tank we'll put it at 
$5. And of course, Reptile Carpet is gonna come in a pre-cut size, so it's actually gonna come in a 20 gallon long size. And that is usually about $9 was the cheapest that I could find on Amazon. So our flooring cost is going to be anywhere from about a dollar to about $9. Heating. So Lamborghinis are from places like Iraq, Afghanistan, so they are going to need heat in order to properly digest their food. And they are a crepuscular species, which means that they don't come out and bask in the wild. They will come out during the dawn and dusk and hunt, and then they go and hide. I like to provide heat pads for my leopard geckos because that way it will go under one of their hides and they can go during the day and just hide all day and be nice and warm and digest food and then I don't have to mess up their natural internal clock by only having a basking area for them that forces them to come out and bask when they would normally be sleeping. So I use heat pads. Currently a heat pad for a 20 gallon long is $17 for the name brand. Now there are a lot of off brand ones on Amazon for a lot cheaper, but I almost always use the ZooMed ones. So I don't want to tell you guys the cheapest ones on Amazon because I don't know how they work and I don't want to put a heat pad out there and it cause a fire or something. So the one that I use is $17 for a 20 gallon long. And you also are going to need a thermostat for that heat pad. Please never, ever, ever use heat pads without thermostats. Heat pads can get very hot if they are left to their own devices. They can get up to 140 degrees and a lever gecko only needs it to be about 90 to 95 degrees. So they definitely don't need it that hot and they could burn themselves without that thermostat. So they definitely need that. And again, the one I use is $18. I just use the cheap ones on Amazon and I have not had a problem with them at all. They work perfectly and that's what I use for all my tanks. So for heating, you're looking at about $35. Hides. Lever geckos need three hides. They will need a hot hide, a cool hide, and a moist hide. Now, if you are housing a baby leopard gecko and they are maybe in a temporary 10 gallon tank, then you can do, then you can get away with two hides. But when they are an adult, they're going to need that 20 gallon and they're going to have to have three hides. Hides can vary greatly in price and it's 100% dependent on what you want, what you want your tank to look like. In one of my leopard geckos tanks, I have two of the hides I bought off Amazon and the other is just a piece of cork bark that Percy likes to hide in. In my other leopard gecko tank, I only have the one purchased wet hide, a large piece of cork bark, and a hide that I actually made myself out of grout. So your possibilities here are huge and it just completely depends on what you want to do. But since we are talking about going simple and simple ways to set this up, we're going to say the hides can be anywhere from about $3 if you were to go to Dollar Tree and buy like just plastic things and putting them in that way which I know a lot of people do a lot of people will use those they'll use old like yogurt containers that they cut a little door out things like that you can go as cheap as three dollars or you can go as expensive as 30 40 50 dollars max price will cap it at about 40 dollars just because but we're gonna say three to forty dollars Enrichment. You guys know that I love my enrichment and this is another thing that you can do a lot with. I absolutely love going to my local river and getting driftwood and sanitizing it and that makes some amazing enrichment. It gives them places to climb because leopard geckos will climb if you give them the opportunity. Or you could go to the store and buy a bunch of fake plants and put around. You get things like cork bark which they will hide in, climb on. You have a lot of options here for enrichment. We're going to say this can be anywhere from about $5.00 if you were to just go to the dollar store and get some fake plants to about 20 if you wanted to go and get cork bark things like that but again here the possibilities are absolutely endless so five to twenty dollars on this one a water bowl your leopard gecko is going to need a water bowl to drink water and this again can be something as simple as getting an old mealworm container or an old yogurt container that you cleaned out and using that the little water bowls that I like to use are only five dollars and they seem to last really well they come in all different sizes and the ones for the leopard geckos are only five dollars so we'll say five dollars on the water bowl repti safe repti safe is super important for your animal because it's going to make tap water safe for them to drink it's going to dechlorinate it and also add in calcium a small bottle of repti safe is six dollars and it lasts like forever ever the bottle that i buy goes to all of my animals and it easily lasts 
last months. So that $6 purchase is going to last you for a long time. Or you could do purified water. If you wanted to do that, you would just buy the purified water from the store and just put it into the water bowl. But yeah, we're gonna say $6 on RefduSafe. A thermometer slash hygrometer is really important, especially if this is the first time that you have ever had a leopard gecko, just so you can keep an eye on the humidity and the ambient temperature in that tank. The ones that I use are about $10 and they just kind of stick into the tank. This is not a good measurement of the hot spot though. This is just going to measure the ambient temperature and again it's going to measure that humidity to make sure that humidity stays really low because leopard geckos do like a very low humidity. So $10 for that but then you will also need a temperature gun which is going to measure that basking spot. Your thermostat will measure the temperature of that basking spot but I like to have a temperature gun just to make sure that it is correct because if you have had that thermostat for a very long time it could start going out and you wouldn't know if you don't have some other means of checking the hot spot. So the temperature gun that I use is $16 and it just takes a lot of stress off and it is very important in making sure that you are maintaining the proper temperatures for your animal. As far as lighting goes I use a small UVB light on both of my leopard geckos tanks. Some people say that you don't need them but the research kind of goes back and forth on these. Some people say that they make a world of difference. Some people say that they make no difference. I like to err on the safe side and use the small UV lights because these are crepuscular animals, which means that they are active during the dawn and the dusk, which means that they are getting a little bit of sunlight in the wild. So I do like to give them that option in captivity as well. So for the small UV lights that I use, they are about $13 and the dome itself is about 12. So that is an additional $25 if you are going to put those lights on your tank. And regardless of whether you are going to use those lights, you will need some kind of light to demonstrate to them the day and night cycle, even if it's just the room that they're in or if natural light is coming in, not directly on their tank, but in the room that they're in, they are gonna need something to let them know when it is daytime and when it is nighttime. Leopard geckos are also going to need their food dusted with calcium and vitamins. Now, since I am using that light on top, I use calcium without D3 most of the time. I will occasionally do the calcium with D3. And then I'm also going to occasionally do those reptile vitamins. Currently, as I'm filming this right now, and I'll put the link in the description, hopefully it's still there, but the Fluker's calcium without D3 is only a dollar on Amazon. But normally the calcium for these guys is gonna be about $5 and the vitamins are gonna be about $6. And that's just totally gonna depend on the brand that you get, but we're looking at about $11 in vitamins. Feeding these guys is actually very cheap. They are insectivores, but they are going to need live gut-loaded insects. You can do mealworms, crickets, dubia roaches. Some will eat baby hornworms. They love wax worms as treats. You have a lot of options here. Mine primarily eat dubia roaches and mealworms, which are super easy and cheap to keep. Mealworms are going to be the easiest option because you can buy a little jar of them for about $5 for, I think, 50, and you keep them in your refrigerator or you can keep them in a container and gut load them. Usually when you buy them in a little container they are like timberline mealworms so they're already gut loaded. You just stick them in the refrigerator and they live forever and when it's time to feed the animals you just take them out and they're alive. So they are going to be the easiest at five dollars. Crickets are going to be the cheapest and my absolute least favorite. They are usually only between one and five cent a cricket depending on how many you're buying but they they die very fast and they smell terrible, but your leopard gecko will thoroughly enjoy chasing them around. Doobie roaches are one of my favorites with a lot more protein than crickets and mealworms, and they're also a lot more filling than crickets and mealworms and easier to digest for them. So doobie roaches are going to be the most expensive of the options, but they are a lot healthier and they are a lot easier to keep as well. You just put them in a little container, a cricket keeper, or a little shoebox 
box and you give them old vegetables or whatever. And at the doobydoo.com, 100 small doobie roaches are going to be a little over $16 and that is going to last for a little bit. They're only gonna eat about five of those small roaches a day. So start up food for these guys. Let's say you were gonna get doobie roaches in a container of mealworms and you were going to throw those mealworms in the refrigerator and get a little shoe box from the Dollar Tree and just use old things to fill that container where you're going to keep your doobie roaches, crickets, whatever in. I like to use old paper towel rolls, old toilet paper rolls for them to hide in. And then I use just old containers to put their food, napkins with water for their water. So startup for those feeders is going to be about $25. And honestly, you're not going to spend much more than that every month on them for food either. And if you switch it up and do things like crickets that are a lot cheaper, then you're going to spend even less on that a month for these guys. But we will say about $25 startup for bugs and about $20 a month to feed them. And that is it. You are looking at about out this much and speaking of taking care of your leopard gecko this video is sponsored by the dubia dude the dubia dude.com is an awesome place to go and get all of your feeder roaches they are the simplest website that i've ever used to order dubia roaches from it's just a couple of clicks and you have them directly at your house the dubia dude also uses all organic to feed your roaches so you know you are getting the healthiest roaches for your animal and healthy feeders equals a healthy animal in addition he does his best to reduce, reuse, and recycle materials so he's also saving the environment while giving you healthy feeders. What is better than that? Don't forget to use my code L at thedoobiedude.com for 10% off of your entire order. Thank you so much to the Doobia Dude for sponsoring this video. Hopefully you found this video helpful if you are getting a leopard gecko and yeah that is it as always guys if you're not already please feel free to follow me on my other socials and like subscribe and hit that bell for notifications every single time i put out a new video which is every sunday and wednesday for this week's instagram shout outs we have c dog 22 and hancock scales and tails thank you guys so much for following me on instagram going through like a whole bunch of stuff you guys are the bees knees thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a fantastic day bye this price does not include the price of the price of the for about $18, $17, we'll, we'll use those, they'll use old I've never had this many helicopters fly over my house ever while filming. <laughs>